hello friends welcome on my youtube channel so in previous video i have shown you ppt which consists of basic of power bay desktop then after it i have shown you how power bay desktop layout it is then today we are going to see how we can okay load data in our power bay desktop so let me open power bay desktop okay so let's suppose if i am having a table means I'm having a data set which is having different columns okay which is present in my local file system and I want to load okay in power bi desktop to create some report to find some insight from my particular data set so as you can see I have opened my power bi desktop I will close this particular window because if I will click on get started it will land me to power bi service and power bi service is chargeable so that's why i'm not going to use okay and uh, i'll close this and this particular power bi desktop is completely free okay so in power bi desktop okay i will show you how we can load data from our local file system which is in csv file format so as you can see i'm having icon under home ribbon get data so by the help of this get data icon okay so i'm going to load okay data set okay from different connectors okay from different data sources i'll be able to connect okay and able to import from there into power bi desktop the data set so you can see these are the common data sources from where i can import data set into power bi desktop if i will click on more so you can see under all i'm getting all the options means these are connector friends okay so these many correct connectors are present in our power bi desktop from where i can import okay data set into power bi desktop and after that okay they have categorized here okay connectors they have categorized into file database microsoft fabric power platform azure online services and, and others okay so if i will click on database let's suppose my data set okay which i want to load in power bi desktop for which i want to find inside which is present in sql server okay so i will click on database and then click on sql server but in my case okay my data set is present in local file system so let me open file explorer and i will browse the path okay so you can see at this particular path okay my this data set is present now i'll open this particular order data set i want to show you so these many columns are there okay so i want to load this particular data set in my power bi desktop so how can i load okay so let me show you if i want to load i will click on get data icon and i have to choose connector okay so in which file format my data set is there friends it is in csv file format so i will choose text okay csv now it will ask me to browse where your data set is so by default it has taken the path which i have opened so let me browse okay and i will select order this particular data set because i want to load and i will click on open so it will take just few seconds okay now you can see i'm able to see the preview of my data set so what is the delimiter power bi is enough intelligence you can see it has automatically find out that this particular data set is having delimiter as comma okay because fields file format is csv so comma separated value means the value are separated by commas fields are separated by commas that's why delimiter is comma and it will automatically okay it will automatically find out okay for each column header what is their data types for each column okay what is their data type so based on first 200 rows it is going to find out what this particular order id's data type is and so on for order date what is the data type for ship date column what is the data type based on first 200 rows it is going to find out so i will click on load so once i will click on load so you will be able to see here okay right now it is empty now it is taking few seconds and you can see here 
49 rows okay are there in this particular data set and in data tab you can see here this is my table name okay and if i will click on this expand button and these are the columns present in this particular table you can see moving city so alphabet wise it has automatically sorted okay column names i will click on this particular compress button you can see now in the same way i am having one more data set which is product so i will show the preview of this data set also so you can see it is containing product id product name subcategory name product name okay now i want to load this particular data set in my power bi desktop so again i will click on get data whenever i want to load whenever i want to import some data okay from any database or from these connectors so you can see if my connector is not present here okay from where i want to import data into power bi so i will click on more option and if i will click on more i will get all the connectors okay from where i will be able to import data set into power bi desktop so as you can see it is mine is in csv file format so i will select text csv and i will click on connect so once i will click on connect it will ask me to browse you where is your data set so i will browse and i will choose my data set which i want to load in power bi desktop and you can see i have selected product and i will click on open so you can see we are able to see the preview also and delimiter okay and data type it will automatically find out based on first 200 rows now again i will click on load so right now you can see only order table is present now you can see my product table is also present and it is having these many columns and these are their names okay so i hope friend it is clear it is very easy to load data set in power bi desktop so i hope you like this video please subscribe my channel and in the coming video i am going to show more options okay